Something simple as changing your launcher can change how you look at using your phone. I've been on a digital minimalism journey since September of 2023. On this journey, I have switched phones multiple times. I purchased multiple dumb phones. And now at this point in my journey, I need to be able to use a smartphone without falling back into old habits. I primarily use my smartphone for essential applications. And let's face it, nowadays it's really difficult to live without a smartphone. But I don't want to be addicted to my smartphone. I don't want to use it for social media. And I only want to use it for those essential applications. So in order to do that, I'm going to set my smartphone up as a dumb phone. Now, I've recently switched from the Apple ecosystem back to Android for this purpose. I find that Android gives me more options on how to dumb down my phone. Now, if you're using iOS, there are digital minimalist widgets that do help minimize your access to certain applications, but being able to hide your app drawer completely is impossible. So now that I'm back on Android, I have so many options for how to dumb down my smartphone. I'm going to go over three main launchers that I've used and tested over the past week and give my pros and cons for the specific launchers. Now, I'm not set in stone on one specific launcher. I like to change my launchers kind of like I like to change my phones, depending on my day, my mood, or how my disability is impacting my vision. Now, first, I'm going to go over the easiest launcher to use and set up. Before switching to Android, I heard a lot about this launcher and this is O Launcher. In fact, I found it to be the easiest launcher to turn your smartphone into a dumb phone. You simply download the launcher and open it and then you can directly add four applications to your home screen. Now, once you've chosen your applications, you can set the launcher as your default And if you want to go more into depth and modify the launcher, the settings are quite easy. You can just long press on the screen and you'll see that you have different options on how to manage how the application appears on your phone. Again, this is such a huge change compared to using minimalist apps on the iOS devices. With an Android, you're able to modify the size, for example, the font size in this specific launcher, as well as the colors, and you can hide and show specific menus. This is ideal if you want to show certain apps, hide a lot of apps, especially those apps that you might be tempted to open just by mindlessly scrolling through your phone. The thing I liked about Olauncher is that you don't need to know much about customizing. You can honestly just set it and forget it and go straight away on your dumb phone journey. If you're just getting into digital minimalism, I think this is the easiest launcher to start with. Now, the second launcher is kind of the opposite on the spectrum. If you're somebody who wants to really, really customize your launcher because you know that you're going to access certain applications or you want to really customize how your device looks, I would recommend Nova Launcher. I used to use Nova Launcher back when I had my BlackBerry Priv and my Pixel 3. This was my go-to launcher because I liked the look of certain icon packs. Yes, with Nova Launcher, you can download icons that you like and you can use it with the Nova Launcher and customize it exactly to how you want your device to appear. I like how you can go in depth and modify the colors, the sizes, the accent colors. I mean, you can really go in deep with Nova Launcher. I used to love this aspect of the launcher, but now that I've lost my vision, I find it a bit difficult to navigate the menus like I once did. I really admire the hyper customization, but as somebody who can't see very well, I need an easy settings menu where I can just go in and modify the aspects that I need for my accessibility. So I don't use Nova Launcher so much anymore, but I really do like the customization aspect of it. The last launcher I'm going to talk about is Niagara or Niagara, however you want to pronounce it. And this is the newest launcher that I've tried and it's been recommended to me by a few people. I really like the look of this specific launcher. You can just set it kind of like O-Launcher right away and go into using the application. But what I really like about this launcher is its settings options. Now, I like to remove specific aspects of my launcher. For example, each application has a name for that application. And now that I'm more visually impaired than I ever was, 
I don't really need the text because I can't read the text. So this launcher enables me to remove the text and just focus on icons. I can even change the appearance of those icons. For example, I like to use just an outline of those icons. It looks very aesthetic, but it's also very accessible. I can also change the size of those icons, which makes it a lot easier for me to see. And a plus side for the digital minimalism aspect is that not having the specific colors attached to applications, which have been psychologically studied to entice you to select the app, are no longer there. I just have a basic white outline of an application and maybe even a general icon, for example, a money symbol for my bank application to select to open it when I need it. It makes it a lot less tempting to access applications unnecessarily. So I really like this specific launcher and I've been using it exclusively for the past few days. I signed up for the free trial for the pro variant, which is $9.99 per year, which is a very good price for a product, especially for an accessibility standpoint. I did have difficulties using O Launcher from an accessibility standpoint because it is very text-based and I cannot see text, especially without it being very enlarged. Unfortunately, the size doesn't go up high enough in the Olancher settings, and I had to go into my system settings to increase the font size. But this also increased the font size on all applications, and I couldn't see codes, for example, in emails because they weren't optimized for those font sizes. So this is something you have to take into consideration if you're looking to use a launcher for accessibility reasons. I really enjoy launchers that are icon-based, you can do this with Nova Launcher as well. You can just have icons. But again, the settings menu wasn't quite accessible for my needs and I had difficulty seeing to navigate. So I couldn't go into depth like I had once did in the past. I really liked the Niagara setup. It was very simplistic and I'm still on the free trial. I'm deciding whether or not to continue with it. But as for now, I really like this launcher and I find $9.99 per year not a bad price compared to other applications that I've paid for in the iOS system. And I find after testing these three launchers, I'm going to continue testing other launchers, of course. And the beauty of it is you can leave those launchers installed on your device and you can activate and make them as default as you need or as your needs change. For example, if you want to change the look of your device really quickly, or if you find that you are picking up your device more often, you can modify your launcher to a launcher that you really don't find yourself picking up your device and selecting things as often as before. Now, I wasn't able to do this in the beginning of my journey of digital minimalism. This has been a process. I'm about eight or nine months in, and in the beginning, I needed a dumb phone. I needed to completely disconnect and build up that willpower to know that I didn't need certain applications. If you're just starting out with digital minimalism and you're not as addicted as I was, this could be a great option to change your phone without having to buy a new phone. I find it's very easy to set up. It is cost effective. I mean, most of the launchers have a free version and you don't need to pay for a version. I'm choosing to probably pay for accessibility reasons, again, to get exactly what I want and what I need but I could perfectly use the free variant and get by. That is just my personal preference. Are you using a launcher different than the three I just mentioned? Let me know below. I'm open to testing new launchers every day. Thank you for watching and see you soon.